hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are gonna move forward in our room uh, booking app okay so in our previous video we have just introduced our app what we are gonna do and what we are not so in this video I'm gonna just move forward with some of the things okay um, I was just working on this project so I haven't done some of much of the things okay so basically what we are gonna do is we are gonna add the authentication feature okay so this app will contain two authentications one is the email and password and second is the mobile number authentication that is the OTP functionality okay so I have talked about the email and password authentication in my previous videos like in my food delivery app and in my artgram app also I have talked about that but in this video I am gonna talk about the <coughs> OTP or the mobile number authentication feature okay so I have done some of the things and I'm gonna explain each and everything to you all okay and if you want me to make the video in detail about this thing I have used some of the things to make the application uh, to some point attractive okay so all the, these are only the things that are generally on the uh, official page of uh, flutter okay you can all go over there but i'm gonna explain it each, explain it to you also okay so you can see that i have four pages okay one is the login page one is the registration page home page and mobile number authentication i haven't done any of the thing in registration page and in home page okay but i have done uh, in a mobile and login page some of the things okay so in this home main page you can see that I have a safe area and it has a container container is going through all the view that our screen is showing us okay um, basically the use of safe area is that the some of the time if we do something then the text or some of the will just go in the area where we have the um, what we can say the network icons and the battery icons okay so we just don't want to do that okay like the current phones that we are using um, and the current which are coming with the notch okay so if we install whatsapp in it you all can see that the notch is covered but the I, uh, the area of the whatsapp goes up there okay i have used my phone in some of my phone it's there i don't know about other thing i it can be my phone, uh, device fault also okay i'm not saying that this is the official error or something that but we i have experienced it okay so basically safe area does that the it will uh, contain all the things in the safe part that is visible to the user only okay so it's going to dui then it is cre creating a gradient type effect okay mm, so it is just that okay you all can set any of the color okay and after that i am just um, give, giving a text okay this is the text at the center of the um, screen and i am creating a button okay so this is a customized type of button in which uh, because we have all the raised button or flat button or any of the button i i haven't used that or i haven't gone so much deep in the button but the uh, problem that i am facing with the simple button is that we cannot customize the button okay so for that i am using the inkwell i just want the button to be um, to some point add the or you can say customized okay you all can see in the uh, app the i will show you the app afterwards okay so the point we click on this button it will take us to the login page so this is our login page first of all i have done all of the things like i have included the firebase auth okay let me show you my popsec.yaml i have included the google service.json also okay and this is my or my popsec.yaml you can see that i have used the firebase auth and i have converted my application to the uh, android x functionalities okay um, i have talked about that okay and yeah guys make sure to add your sha1 uh, key in your firebase um, 
okay because it was showing me error so i have up, uh, done that okay you all can just uh, do that but just to uh, opening the android in your uh, android studio in this um, build out gradle and just go for the sign in uh, report okay and it will just give you the um, SHA1 and MD5 I think so it is the key that will be given to you all okay you can see that I have converted to Android X okay and up in the login page um, I have a list view okay and the at that point let me look at that um, I have uh, something called the uh, yeah this is a state and after that I have something called the clippers okay this is a widget or this is a class which we can use to just give a decoration type of thing okay so I will show you I am not gonna go in deep okay you all can just uh, google it out and if you face any problem regarding this thing uh, clipper okay i will gonna explain you all just comment me down and i'm gonna explain each and everything to you all okay so you all can see that where is that okay so basically our widget starts with this okay you all can see that i have a clip path the design is for the clip path okay mm it has a text and after that it has a clipper that is a decoration type of thing okay and after that you can see that i am having an email i am having a password okay and after that i am having a inkwell that is just doing the work of a button okay and after that i am um, having a raise button that is asking for the mobile number that is saying it's a mobile number then it will uh, redirect us to the mobile authentication part okay i haven't done any of the thing in our uh, email and password but the next video that i will be uploading these things will be included in that okay that is either you can log in with email and password or you can directly log in with a mobile number okay then it let us go to the mobile part okay so you can see that uh, firstly we have a text okay uh, that is if uh, it will ask for the OTP okay that I have just given a text you all can give any of the text that you want okay then it has a text field okay and it has a text field and the point it is submitted I am not adding the text edit controller I am just adding the feature of text field okay that is when the done button is pressed okay done button is pressed the phone number okay is auto verify phone is aut uh, already automatically called okay so in that we have three things phone number sms code and verification id the point someone uh, in in the what you can say phone number authentication we have phone number we have a otp and the point someone uh, logs in using the otp we get a verification id okay so i have the point someone enters the number in this part the s s is a variable and it stores the number in the phone number okay it is uh, the s is in a string type okay so you all can see that it is a verify phone number and it has many of the things okay okay so you all can see that it has three four four functions okay four function that is the auto retrieval okay uh, sms sent uh, verified success okay these are the thing that you all can just uh, understand by their name only that is this uh, is a phone code automatic retrieval timeout okay that is if your phone allows or then it can directly um, verify the number from your message or you have to give the code okay and this is the code send part that is if the code is sent then the verification id will be generated this is the verification id and it will be uh, given to this okay and then we have a verified success and verified failed okay that is if the verification is success and if the verification not okay then we can just go for this part okay that is the this what is this okay come on 
yeah okay so you can see that this is the uh, firebase order verify phone number it will ask for the phone number and it has some of the things that is the phone number code automatic retrieval timeout code sent timeout timeout we can just give it for five seconds and but you all can give it for that you want okay and a code completed code failed these are the things that uh, you all can play with okay that is if the user is not signed in or not verified he or she can go to the main login screen okay or just give it a toast or play with that okay and after uh, this is done okay after this is done what we will do uh, is that go for sms code sent okay this is the part okay so you all can see that it just have a dialog box and it asks for a sms code and the sms code is stored here it will go on to this sms code okay and after that uh, this sms code it will just match with each and everything and if the uh, user is logged in okay if the user is logged in it will go to the home page okay one second let me search for one thing i just put one thing yeah if the code is sent then the sms code dialog will be called okay sms code and it will ask for a sms code and the point you give that sms code it has two buttons that is one is done and one is one should be uh, I, I have put that okay so it has a done feature you all can add some of the buttons also i'm not adding that okay so if the um, otp is right okay then it will just uh, create a user and it will have a user id and if a user is not null then definitely it will move us to the home page and if not then it will um, go for the sign in okay then it means that basically if you just uh, google out some of the things of a uh, sign in with a phone number okay so it will have uh, like something like sign in with phone number but um, with some of the updates it, it has changed so it is um, sign in in the user with the credentials okay so just go for that so for that you have to just create a auth credential and auth credential will uh, go for the phone authentication authentication provider these are the thing that is in the uh, phone uh, sorry firebase auth part okay phone authentication provider and it will give you a credential that is the verification id and a sms code okay so where we got the SM verification id and sms code from here you all can see that the point the sms is sent it has a verification id okay uh, and the sms code is directly sent okay and after that it will create a user firebase user okay and these things are asynchronous okay you can see that and if the user is not Null. it means that you are signed in and you will be redirected to the home page and if you are not signed in okay it will just generate some the uh, not signed in okay or it will show you the thing of not signed in, or you can play with that code um, okay so let me just show you all I have installed this thing okay in my uh, mobile okay so let me just show you uh, the application one second uh, you all can see the screen just here okay so this is my phone okay this is my phone you all can see that and this is the application that i was working on okay so i will explain each other the thing that i have worked on okay so one second yeah this is the first menu main screen okay this was i was talking about the this is the get started is the ink well okay so this is the gradient that is from white to dark blue okay the point i click on the get started it takes us to the uh one second yeah this is the home page okay or you sorry login page you all can see that the hello again this is the part uh, where is that you all can see that once again guys let me just match that where is it okay so you, yeah you all can see that this is the clip part okay and the blue screen that is the uh, login screen this part 
okay the this part is generated due to this bottom wave clipper okay and um, after that you will consider i have a email password or login with mobile number the point i click on the mobile number it goes to this part okay and here i have to give a number okay so i am giving a number mobile number so make sure to give your country code with that okay like um, this is my country code because you are from india it is the country code and after that i am giving the mobile number okay it's not accepting right now but the point i will click on the done it will accept it okay and just don't try to call this because this number is not accepting any of the incoming calls okay so you will not be able to call me on this okay the point i clicked on the done okay so you all can see that the that is gone and after few second you all can see that it will show you the sms otp that is the we have got the uh gone through some of the part and within few seconds it will we will receive the otp okay so you all can see that we we have received the otp it is 523696 okay so let me just type 5236 96 96 the point i click on the done it takes us to the home page okay so this is the thing okay and so this is the application that i have that i have talked about if you have any comment or any problem related to the app just write me down and i will definitely get back to you on that okay um, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel just subscribe it Okay, because I just bring all the things and all the new features uh, related in Flutter. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.